From the Sim Lair, Flight 247 presents We've Got Whiskey. I am your host, Sean Lynch. Welcome to We've Got Whiskey, where we discuss and review aviation products and topics that are cool and interesting for pilots and aviation enthusiasts alike. A quick disclaimer, the video quality here, you may notice a difference in using multiple cameras to produce this content some of my footage was lost and so I am now in the midst of recreating this because this is a very, very important video that I wanted to share with you. Let's roll. Now We've Got Whiskey was an idea that I thought of a couple years ago. In aviation, we use the phonetic alphabet. And so for the letter W, that is whiskey. Well, I was watching a video on the uh, Fly 8 Mike Alpha YouTube channel and in the flight, they were out flying around Anchorage, Alaska. And they were talking to the tower. The tower came out and said, do you have information whiskey? And one of the pilots that they were talking to said, yeah, we've got whiskey. Then John's girlfriend is like, I want some whiskey. So I just thought that would be a great title for a YouTube channel or for episodes on YouTube. And so I shot that video and I've done a few other little tiny things. If, you, if you're if you on Flight 247, you can see that I've done a few We've Got Whiskey things. But in order to do some more of what I envisioned for We've Got Whiskey, I wanted to do an unboxing for you today for a new Flight Sim product that's been out for just a short time. And it is the Thrustmaster TCA Quadrant Airbus Edition. The box is really, really nice. I mean, it's got pictures of uh, Airbus cockpit. This is an, an actual representation. It's a real picture of the Airbus. What I'm getting to is that they have the TCA Airbus Edition accessory pack, which, which gives you a couple other parts that will give you spoiler and flaps as well with some additional selector switches and buttons as well. So it's not a complete accurate representation. This throttle is... But if you get the accessory pack, obviously there's some other things that are not exactly accurate to that. But hey, it, it still, it still is, is really, really nice. It's got a little bit of a, a graphic of what it looks like on the inside. It talks about the functionality that it can be used by for whatever airplane you want to fly. My, what I actually wanted for is besides flying Airbus jets, I wanted to fly the Dark Star because there is that part where Maverick goes into scramjet and the throttles have that just that certain look about them. It looks a little bit different than something that you'd see in a fourth gen fighter cockpit. I just thought, you know, this would be a perfect throttle to, to do some Dark Star flying. So as we unbox it here, we've got uh, some nice cardboard clamshell to protect it. Comes wrapped in cellophane and this wow this is so nice <clears throat> it's very sleek it looks real hardware right out of just tremendous it doesn't have a huge amount of weight to it um, it's probably under a pound it has the um, engine ignition switches <clears throat> they are they're plastic they do have uh, they do have a, a very light sense to them. It does kind of feel um, a little bit like like a toy uh, with those switches there, but still still just very very nice. You've got the uh, the mode selector there as well. Very nice. The the crank and ignition starts are actually push buttons as well. But the real the real star are these thrust levers. They just move so nicely. And then you also have your thrust reverser switches as well to basically release and unlock the thrust reversers, which is really, really nice too. And then it clicks back into place, so you can't actually go in into reverse thrust there um, unless you're intentional about it. Uh, it's got the, the toga buttons on the side. And then I will, uh, I'll go to max power here. <clears throat> and so then you can actually see there that it actually has the increments too for thrust. So really, 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 really nice. Now this next part is very key because this part for me 
in assessing and trying to understand this product when before I purchased it was the underside of the controller. Now you can see that there is this these two plastic pieces here that are held in with screws. There are some rubber footings. There are six of them to stabilize this and grip it on your desktop. There is a, a completely drilled through hole right there that you can, I, just looking at it as an estimate, you could put a screw through that and you could fix this to a tabletop. There are these indents here that I assume is where it will connect in with the um, addition, additional accessory pack that is Thrustmaster is making that includes a spoiler and flaps. Spoiler alert, I actually, as time has passed since I originally shot this video, I have purchased that second set to include with this. I'm not going to do that unboxing today, but stay tuned because I will do an unboxing for that and then I will show it how it all fits together just so that if you're interested in purchasing this, that you will know what you're in store for. On the front side, there is a switch here that you can change it from one or two engine aircraft to a three and four engine aircraft. So if you purchase the second one of these, then you can have thrust levers for up to four engines. And on the back side is the USB connector. There is a tension adjuster that you can insert a screwdriver into that small hole there, a Phillips screwdriver and adjust your tension on your thrust levers. And then the TFRP is the proprietary plug that Thrustmaster uses to connect other devices. All in all, I am, I wanted to make this video because I'm so ready to plug this baby in and go fly. It, it just looks like it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, I really bought this so that I could uh, do some Dark Star flying. With my uh, current uh, throttle system, it's a CH throttle quadrant, which I've had for since at least 2005. It still works great. It's wonderful. The only problem I have with it is the knobs on it are, um, it's designed for a twin engine airplane, although it is customizable for up to a four engine aircraft. These babies, I mean, just to grab those, that is so nice. That is such a nice feel. And the knobs on the CH throttle quadrant, they're just, they're just small. They feel nice, but flying Dark Star, man, going to Scramjet Maverick, that's what you want right there. You want that real feel, realistic grip. So in a coming video, I will talk about and show what the setup is, what the setup is like for it and how it goes for making sure that it runs smoothly in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, I'm not even going to do that. I, I'm not even going to do that. <clears throat> My personal take, this is YouTube. You don't need me to say like this if you like it. Subscribe if you, if you want more of this content. Leave a comment, whatever. Come on, it's 2022. We all know YouTube. So whatever, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> this is We Got Whiskey. I'm Sean. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to leave you here with what the beginning of We Got Whiskey is going to look like. So I hope you enjoy it. And thank you again for watching. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.
Tranquil approach, break here at 5642, uh, 20.3 is going to be the Arch 2, landing southeast with Whiskey. Thanks for watching, we've got Whiskey. Until next time, notify on initial contact, you have Whiskey. See ya. 42916, we got Whiskey. South Mountain Park. I want Whiskey. <laughs> we know. <laughs>